So while watching the first episode of the Linus Tech Tips Linux Challenge, something came up while Linus was installing Linux that made me think that there's something that people don't know, and that's not common knowledge. And I'll admit that I didn't even know this until a few months ago. So this is not something that Linux does a very good job of saying that you need to do. And it's actually really simple, and it makes a ton of sense. When you install Linux for the first time, no matter what distro you're on, run your update manager after your initial install. Do this no matter what. And the reason why is because when you want to install software, you have to pull that software from mirrors. And if your mirrors are out of date, chances are it won't install. Uh, this is especially true on Arch where you have to update those mirrors in order to connect to them. Otherwise you'll get four or four errors because the security keys change and things move around a lot. So you have to update those mirrors. It happens on Ubuntu and Debian based distros as well. You have to update your system before you even think of installing any software. So uh, really, it makes a ton of sense because you need to update those mirrors in order to connect in into uh, those repositories and install the software. And if you haven't updated, those mirrors are still out of date. So this is really just a really small, short video just to say, every time you install Linux, update your system. And I know that there's this myth around Linux saying that you don't need to update all that often. You're never forced to update. And that's true. You don't have to update if you don't want to, or you can wait, but you're going to experience problems if you don't. So update your systems immediately after install. You'll solve just a ton of problems. I'm pretty sure that Linus's problems with Pop! OS were because he didn't do an update. Now, maybe he did that off camera and I just don't know. And the, the problems were something different. But I'm pretty sure that if he had updated like Luke did, he wouldn't have faced nearly as many problems with, uh, with Pop West. Now, why he had such problems with why his install crashed, I couldn't solve that problem without actually seeing it. But I, I think the installing of Steam would have worked fine had he updated the system first. So just a short video, update your systems after install. You can follow me on Twitter at LinuxCast. You can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash LinuxCast. That was a really poor transition. Before I go, I'd like to take a moment to thank my current patrons. Devon Chris, East Coast Web Gen 2, Fun 2, Patrick L. Marcus, Meglin, Jackson, Diamond Tool, Steve A, Mitchell, Art Center, and Mateus, Merrick Camp, Joshua Lee, J-Dog, and BSD's Rock. Thanks everyone for watching. See you next time.